word. Welcome to the Bayside Word. We're back for another week of fun and interesting articles. I'm Emma and I'm here with... Devin. Nah. CJ. And... And Maxi. And AJ is away for this week. He will be back next week. So, let's just get into the first article. So, McDonald's. Mm, Mac is. Actually, first off, apparently McDonald's is a really good employer to work for, like, if you're young. So, as a first job, if you're then going for another job and they see that you've worked for McDonald's, isn't it that they're like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Like, you've got a good chance of being hired. That's what I heard when I was a kid. They said, like, if you, it would be good on your resume to have you worked at McDonald's. That's what they said. Why would it be good on your resume? I think because they have a good program, like a, a good like employee program or something like that. So, for future employers, know that you're you've you've been through good training and whatnots, whatnots. I don't know. I think you have to be multi skilled as well. I've worked it's, at McDonald's. Yeah. Did you? There you go. See, that's probably so how you got your engineering job based purely <laughs> off that. I think that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I think that is actually it. When I applied for this job, it was like, oh, you've worked at McDonald's. We'll give you the job. <laughs> Still, <laughs> to this day, McDonald's is top of my CV. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, on his interview, he just went in with his old McDonald's uniform. <laughs> <laughs> and he's walked in and goes, would you like fries or that? <laughs> oh, my gosh. So I went funny. to this uni. I don't care. Did you work at McDonald's? <laughs> yes. You're hired. <laughs> <laughs> would, you, would you like a free upsize? <laughs> Well, McDonald's are now introducing a new employee benefit perk, which is... Getting paid? Well, yes. Accelerated pay. So, like you've all heard of like when people go, oh, boss, can I have an advance on my paycheck, please? Please, please, boss. Like we've heard of that, yeah? No. In movies. Well, (laughs) (laughs) this is basically an upgrade on the advance paycheck so you need your money early because you've got bills to pay and damn bills and you can go to your employer and say you know is there any way you can pay me early please type thing so but this way it's like this app is i guess going to be the the intermediary um and according to the hustle daily pay is the name of the app um it's got really (laughs) So basically, it's an app where you request your your paycheck so, early. So the app is called The Hustle. <laughs> no, 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 no. The Hustle is a news information place where I got this particular piece of information <laughs> from. Are you sure you're not hustling them? <laughs> Daily Pay is the app. <laughs> Daily Pay. And on the app, you can request a portion of your, your paycheck. I don't know how much or all of it. I don't know. Um, prior to your payday. Mm-hmm. But you have to pay, like a lot of these other apps, you have to pay a fee to get your own money out. So it's $2.99 every time you get a wage This pool. sounds horrible. This sounds like a horrible thing. And um, yeah, I don't know. So that's the thing. That's what, that's why I brought it up because it's a good got, conversation. you got payday and then you got after pay and you got zip pay. So you get an advance and then you pay for stuff later. Later. Yeah, so I don't know if you have zip pay in Norway or after pay, just basically the apps where you got like up to a grand it's and like you can a lay-by. buy things. It's and like a lay by. Yeah. So is it interest free for like a six set months? Period or? So after pay is interest free, and that's basically where you can go into the shop, walk out with the goods, and then you pay every two weeks. They just split it into four equal payments. Or zip pay, mm. um, you can just put a minimum amount of 30 bucks a month. Um, or you can pay extra and they charge you $6 each month that there's still a balance owing. Oh, Yeah. Jeez. But... I like the way it's called afterpay. That reminds me of like aftercare. You know, when you've <laughs> you've had a serious injury and you've you got to go to rehabilitation. <laughs> it's exactly the same, but just for money, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but honestly, it's massive here. Like everyone I know has afterpay and zip pay. We use it. What like, is it? For things. It's like lay-by. Just it's like that. a lay by, but instead of like having your goods in the in the shop and going in and paying weekly, week or weekly or fortnightly, and then taking it once you've paid it off, you take it to begin with, and then you make payments on an app, basically. Why not just save your money and buy it when you when you when you have the money? Sometimes, uh, some, like, sometimes an emergency. Yeah, like let's say you need to change your tires or something. Yeah, we did our tires on it. 
and because we couldn't afford four tires, so we did it on there. Because it's like a thousand bucks. That was pretty good. I know a tire place. She told me. Oh. <laughs> 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 but we, we didn't. We didn't plan to change tires. No, it was just know. like, oh, we, had we have to change tires now. Yeah. She just found the car like yours, or stole their tires. <laughs> 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 Thanks, CJ. Next time we'll know. Yeah. <laughs> See, it's a thousand bucks. Think. <laughs> but what do you think about this? Crime does pay. <laughs> Sometimes. What do you think about being able to access your money early in the case that you need it? It's like every Good or bad? Uh, I don't know. No, because people end up buying stuff they're not really prepared to pay for. No, but I think in this, when they're asking for an advance or they're getting a, an advance on their, their own pay... It's maybe because they've got bills coming up that they, that they like mm. say your bill's due Sunday, but you don't get paid till the week after or something or Monday and then you don't get paid till the week after. But, but didn't you know the bill was coming beforehand? Yeah. But I guess like you either live paycheck to paycheck or you're, you're not great with handling money or whatever it is. And then I don't know. Or like say you got in, some guy got into a drug problem and then he owed his drug dealer money. <laughs> and then the guy said, I'm going to kill oh, you. Now we're talking. I, I'm he's on like, your level now. And yeah, he's I, like, I you've got 48 saying, hours yeah. to hey, pay wait, me just my to money. Get, just to give people some context, we started Breaking Bad again. We started to watch Breaking Bad. <laughs> and uh, the only example Emma could come up with is a drug dealer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but he's like, give me my money, 48 hours or your... <laughs> and so the guy's and like, oh my go God, the, the I've got to go to my McDonald's Excuse me, can I have my... Uh, I'm going to scratch your neck. Okay. (laughs) Now, why would the drug dealer kill the guy he needs to take the money off? Yeah, I never understood that. No, it's it's to set an example to all those other ones. No, you don't kill him. You just break his thumbs. Break his thumbs. Okay. Okay. (laughs) Maybe he already did that. This was the last straw. If you kill him, you never get the money back. That's a loss. Yeah. If you break his legs or his foot or his hand, you got to get the money back. I think that... Depends on his money, though. Yeah, it depends how much. And also with some people, maybe they know they're never going to get the money back from that guy. Like that guy's been like, you know, evading them for I, so I, I long. D- look, I don't think yeah, this app was created yeah, for the drug, if, for if, the drug if, dealers. If, if, I don't if, think if the guy's been evading him for so long, what was he doing in the first place lending him money? I don't know. <laughs> That's a bad choice for <laughs> the drug dealer. You don't, you don't really do credit checks in the, uh, in the drug, <laughs> drug industry. <laughs> no, but like, like uh, <laughs> if you had a problem getting money from once... <laughs> Next time he comes to hit you up, like, hey, can I get me some heroin? And you're like, no, you didn't pay me properly last time. It took me like six months. Stuff you. I I was going close to... Yeah. (laughs) Because some people talk a good game, you know? But... (laughs) I can pay. Promise. I really (laughs) promise you. I promise. (laughs) You you fooled me already. (laughs) As I said, how, how you gonna pay? <laughs> I'm going to use you, my McDonald's advance pay slip. <laughs> What's it called? You fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. <laughs> um, I just, just, uh, is it a good, a good thing? Oh look, um, because they have, I, the, I, they have these stuff already. Cash advances, they already have it. Yeah, but this is your own pay, like your money, your own pay, your pay. You're just accessing it earlier. So come pay day, you're going to get less because you've taken some out already. I it's think such a hard question. It is. Such I know. A hard I question. think in a way, if they really, really, really need it, yeah, it's it's cool that they have that option to access it. But if they start relying on that every single month, then it's not going to help anything. I think it shouldn't be like. I understand that if people are getting scanned by these like payday loans and other apps already, then it it's kind of makes sense. It seems to make sense at first, at least, to then offer a solution which doesn't like doesn't cost them a lot of money like it doesn't yeah. scam them but then as soon as you give people easy access to money yeah they're gonna use it yeah, yeah. yeah. so now more people are probably gonna start using this and then more yeah. people are gonna be two weeks behind on all of their yeah. rent and bills yeah. and then it's just like it's so then what if they don't get a job at mcdonald's their next job they they're out two weeks do you know what i mean yeah because yeah. that job and then, doesn't and then offer they're it. lost i was gonna say like so um yeah you're gonna get some idiot buying clothes with it and not spending it on these bills yeah mm. or, or paying his drug dealer billy yeah. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, speaking of drug dealers, I heard on the radio that if you know when you're paying someone, oh, one minute warning. Yeah. They, they look at what your um, payments are and your bank account. Yeah. It helps determine what if you can get a bank loan or not. Yeah. So guys have been sending like um, their part like let's say they their girlfriend they all, like, she gave them hundred bucks or something they pay her back for bank transfer and they put in for sex. They're considered to be like a sex worker. 
So you'll find out how to get a bank loan. What? Yeah. So they're, they're actually reading the name, the names you're giving your transfers. Really? <laughs> what? So, so if you put joking <laughs> ones in, like for drugs, my drug dealer, or for cocaine or something like that, yeah. they'll read it and take it seriously. Because it's not, it's not, oh, it's, wow. not, it's not actually someone reading it, is it? It's like a computer reading yeah, that. Yeah, it's a computer reading it, thinking yeah. that it's wow. actually legit. Like, because one of the guys was saying um, on the radio, he goes, oh, I, might, "I had to borrow a hundred dollars from my girlfriend." And then I put, put, um, sent her back the money and for a bank transfer, and I put for sex. Because but how do you know? Wait, wait. How did how did they find out that uh, they didn't get the loan? Was because of the um, someone had called in earlier, which I didn't hear that part. Yeah, I came in halfway through the conversation. I was like, "Really? That's cool." Okay. So I heard about, I heard the examples, but I didn't hear the reason why they were talking about it. Ah, so interesting. I, so That's interesting. So those guys have been playing practical jokes with each other. Have been costing themselves a bank loan for the house, mortgages, and stuff. <laughs> uh, what? Because they don't <laughs> want to give money to guys who are on drugs or people who are on drugs. That makes sense. Or seeing regular sex workers. <laughs> <laughs> well, but I don't understand that part. I don't well, understand why. They're worried about you being addicted to sex workers. <laughs> 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 that's an addiction, I guess. <laughs> how if you said um, that's. Oh, yeah, I don't know how to say that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, don't know, I, don't know how to, I don't know what narrative to build there. She was my flute expert. Oh yuck! Um, yes. Well, we'll see. Ah, uh, we'll see how it goes with the old Macca's daily pay. Huh. I wonder how that oh. came around. I wonder how it came around. Like someone, some kid went to the front of the desk, tapped, didn't have enough money to buy a cheeseburger meal, even though they get half price. <laughs> And then they said, look, we'll give you an advance on your pay so you can eat. I think it I came around by people just asking. Okay. Like, in all honesty, if I was working at Macca's, do you think I'm paying for my cheeseburger? I'm, I'm making one for you, one for me, one for you, one for me, one for you, one for me. <laughs> you know you remind me of? You know that reminds me of? You remember the um, Longest Yard? And then that guy puts his um, cheeseburgers down his pants, the big black guy. Yeah. And he throws it. You get a cheeseburger. You get a cheeseburger. Do you remember that movie? Yeah, I don't I do. remember that part. But I remember that part. A bloke putting cheeseburgers down his pants. <laughs> and saying, you get a cheeseburger. Just to be perfectly honest with you, if a guy had a cheeseburger down his pants and threw it at me, <laughs> I'm probably going to throw it back. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> you get a burger. No, I don't. <laughs> Do you know the guy I'm talking about? Yeah, the big yeah. guy that broke the, his nose. The, the main character. No, not the guy that broke his nose. The guy that does the pop locking. And he's always like doing the robot. Like he's his massive robot in every like movie he's in. Oh, yeah. That guy. Do you um, know what I'm talking about? Cruise. Crew. Yeah, yeah Cruise. Yeah. Terry Cruz. The one that sings the, the white girl's song. Yeah. He used oh, to be. He used to ride movie. the horses on that ad. No, that's not the same guy. Yeah. The Spice guy. Old Spice. Old Spice. Oh, we're thinking of someone else then. No, nah, it's the same guy. Same oh, guy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did anything happen to you this week? <laughs> no, not really. It might be on the work. <laughs> Best section ever. <laughs> no, okay. So, all right. So what's on my mind this week, right? So this week, me and Emma watched a doco on, which is funny, Bill Gates' mind. Oh, yeah. Inside Bill Gates' mind. Inside Netflix. Bill Gates' mind. Netflix. You good? Yeah. Pretty good. You say it's funny? No. No, it's funny because it's oh. what's on my mind. He goes, is, what's on my mind? Is Bill we, Gates' oh. mind. Is Bill Gates' mind. And um, oh. his, what was on, what we were watching was um, Bill Gates, Bill Gates drank poo water. <laughs> wow, I love how you just went straight I'm just gonna into say, that. He drank poo water, right? Because yeah. Bill Gates is into reinventing the toilet. Yes. What? Yeah, he yes. wants to reinvent the toilet for all the people in the third world countries and in Africa, especially in Africa. To solve the so issues something of... something without plumbing and electricity. Because okay. a lot of the places just have basically open sewerage right outside the front yeah. of their homes. So why would he drink pool water? Right. So he made this sewerage treatment plant without... without um. It with runs using feces, basically. But it runs on itself, right? It's yeah. self... It uses the energy from the poo 
that to create steam. <laughs> yeah. And then be like it's it's and amazing. And the steam is what creates the fresh drinking water. Yeah, but it gets the it divides the poo and the water in this treatment plant. And like the they use the poo turns into ash, and yeah. there's another part that like collects all the water from the poo, and it gets filtered. And he <laughs> opens his tap up. It's got a tap. And, it's, and he and he literally like he opened the tap up, and I was like, he's not gonna drink that. And he just drank it. He drank yeah. the water. And I was Ew. like, this freaking. So he believes in it that much. He's like, yeah. he didn't even he didn't even um bat an eyelid. Yeah, he didn't. But it was he didn't flinch. He was like, yep, I believe in this, and he just drank it. It was amazing. Yeah. It's freaking amazing. It's actually a really wow. good documentary series. I don't want to watch it now. It's not. Well, yeah. I mean, it's pretty you don't interesting. Wa- well, CJ, remember we spoke about how our, our feces go up into the sky anyway. Oh, right? yeah. <laughs> it's just a more immediate <laughs> filtration system. <laughs> like it happens much more quickly. CJ's face is one of disgust CJ right now. CJ does not want to drink poo water. But it's interesting because like, um, Australia's going through a drought, and if you can create I, a system, I, I, I'd rather dehydrate and die. <laughs> oh my goodness! I think I think it's important to rebrand this and not call it poo water. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be a good start. Gates water. Yes. But now, uh, but now I know what it is. <laughs> G water. G water. I don't care. I just know what it is. I'm not judging it. It's it. It was, and it's amazing. Like something that we take as gospel because it's been invented already as the way that it, that um like the it sewage, should be. Yeah. sewer plant has to be and then bill gates is like toilets nah. or toilets whatever but like it's just like bill gates is like no nah, let's reinvent it let's ask the people that have to use the toilets there and let's reinvent it yeah it's amazing now, this, yeah i thought that's pretty cool this reminds me of something i saw years ago um some i think one of the coming world country had developed a way to make feces into food Ooh. what i think it was either china or japan like like feces into like some kind of meat or something yeah yeah i can't remember what country i saw it on the news and i was just thought it was disgusting was it mm. but uh, i need to know more about this yeah i can't remember <laughs> what country maybe look up feed poo in as food and um, can we look up poo um, food? yeah poo, can, food, poo, can m- poo meat or something poo i can't remember Goodness i can't gosh. remember exactly what it was I just remember I saw it on the news and I went, ew. And then I one more fact about Bill Gates. He he reads 150 pages in an hour. <laughs> and apparently he has a 90% retention rate of what he's read. Darn. He's, nah. he's, he's one. T- yeah. It's like he, he didn't even say that. Oh. His friend said it. Oh, no. And I was just like, wow, 9% retention rate, 150 pages. Man, some books are only 300 300 page deep. You're reading like a book of... Oh, man, that's incredible. Is it poop soup? I'm not sure what it is, but I remember there was poop in it. And I went, ew. Well, you're not human poo. Well, this one says... Yeah. There's one oh. here in Kenya which says they use human poo. Um, so Kenyan toilet waste key for new animal feed. Oh, so, really? And this other one says, would yeah. you eat food cooked using feces? A BBC article. <laughs> but... <clears throat> That was actually really interesting. So that was a good what's on your mind. Thank you, Devin. Well, I just want to ask one more question. Oh. Would you drink no. the water? I know, I know CJ Gates said... Gates water? The, yeah, the Gates water. If would I, I lived in I drink a Gates third water. world country, yes, I would. If you lived in a... No, like let's say... Because we're going through drought and like let's say we start running out of water, we have to reinvent how to reuse the water and this seems to be the way to go. What would you do? Drink Coke. I guess it's got. I mean, how did Coke started using <laughs> Gates water? Gates water. I oh, think I would, to be honest. I, I, my <laughs> first time drinking it, I'd be a bit ooh, but then I'd probably just get used to it if they packaged it nicely. So, if <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay, who is a night owl in this room? No. No takers? Yeah, I don't sleep much Oh, see you try. How about you, Maxie? Uh, I was definitely a night owl at university. Oh, you were, but now you're no longer. Actually, at university, what I would say is my days were like 26 hours long. What? 
What? Like that's how it felt. Like my days were twenty six hours long. Okay, so how I could, just how could that be? There's only twenty four hours in a day. Yeah, but I mean, I I I was awake for like eighteen hours, and then I slept for eight, and then whatever wherever that took me, it took me. So I'll slowly go through the night. I would be awake most of the time, and then it would be back in the day again. Oh, that so, is bizarre. But that was only for my one master year, where it was like I woke up, I would work for. I I gym for an hour or two a day. I'd eat, and then mo- the rest of it was just work, like nothing else. And then I would get tired, and I'd fall asleep. And I never planned to fall asleep or whenever. I just happened to always fall asleep two hours later than the night before, on average. What? What? That is crazy. Well, okay, so night owls. So yeah, those who naturally stay up late, um, wake up well past everyone else has. Um, it, they did a study, and. Apparently, night owls have different patterns of brain activity compared to the morning larks. So we're the larks, he's the owl, okay? So these differences they found can make, basically makes life difficult for our poor owls. So they're finding it difficult. They're getting sleepy. They're getting, like, they just feel a bit lazier, like, in themselves. Um because they're having to sort of adhere to our social working patterns and life patterns that usually happen typically nine to five, let's say, or earlier, seven to whatever, when they'd want to be asleep, okay? So there was an actual study um, where they took 38 healthy volunteers. Um, They made them fill out a questionnaire to get them to determine their chronotype, um, which basically means means whether a night owl or a morning lark. And then they fitted them with like these activity trackers and then put them through these tests and they measured their levels of um, like brain activity, hormone levels to determine their effectiveness yeah. at different times of the day. Yeah. Um, so morning larks did best on the early morning tests and performed <laughs> significantly better than the night owls did at this time. Duh, yep. Yeah. In contrast, the night owls did best on evening tasks. <laughs> um, uh, but their performance matched. I think matched. I understand this now. I think I'm getting this. <laughs> but no, but their performance matched those of morning larks on the evening tests. Oh, so they were really so bad. they did better in the evening, but their better was still only as good as the worst of the morning larks. Oh, right. Does that make sense? So basically yes. it's saying that... We're not supposed to be night owls. No, no. Not that we're not supposed to be. It's we're just not that... effective. Yeah. But it's, it's only 38 people, isn't it? So they would I know. To, I mean, the study... They don't, need a, a high, study. don't need a higher number to actually... Yeah. The Wait, the, the study maybe only study like... 38 people? Yeah. yeah. 38 healthy people. Oh, man. Yeah, because you could have like... <laughs> Smart people a in the garbage. first group and <laughs> not so smart people in the second group. So yeah, we had I mean, yeah, because that's true. I'm a, how did they do the test as well? Like, if we took us three, uh, what what did you say you were, um, CJ? You were night owl or night morning lark? Night owl. So we're gonna take us four in the room and do some tests. Me and think it'll be the same. Actually, okay. Am I a night owl or am I a morning? You're not a morning, but you're not a night owl either. You're like a midday. <laughs> I'm a you, midday you just all, all, the, all the time yeah. I'm a squirrel A squirrel? I don't know They're what? up in the day Aren't they? No I'm a, I'm definitely a morning Like I'm a You're... How did you Can we? Can I just go through Your thought process To get to squirrel? <laughs> 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 I, I guess you only see Squirrels in the day Is that is that the assumption? Uh, no You don't see squirrels In the day <laughs> In fact there's no squirrels In, in Australia, Australia Anyway But <laughs> <laughs> There's no, oh wait, there's no squirrels in Australia. No. Hamsters. Or hamsters. Oh. I guess there's too many of a... <laughs> no, there's hamsters. Or hamsters. You can no, you can't. You can. Had a look. Guinea pigs. You can only get guinea pigs oh, or guinea mice pi- or rats. Aren't guinea pigs hamsters? No. Yeah. Hamsters are like little like mice, but no tail or a very short tail. Um, <laughs> But... Anyways, answer Maxi. How'd you get what? to a squirrel? Well, because... Well, I was trying to think of animals that are like awake in the day. Are squirrels awake in the day? Yes. Aren't most animals awake during the day? <laughs> no. I don't know. Are they? Yeah. Most of them sleep at night. Oh, I'm going to Google it. I got my friend Google here to find out when are squirrels 
Oh, most active. There you go. We'll say that. Oh, no. I feel like... Uh, typically active all day, especially <gasps> during the fall and spring months when they are more actively in search for food. There you go. Oh, my gosh. Thank you very but much. Your best chance your best chance of hunting squirrels is in the hours of dawn and dusk. No, so that's the that's all day. You, they, don't like, they don't like the middle of the day. They like the end and beginnings. Well... I mean, we're not hunting any squirrels, are we? We're just living the life of a happy, free-living <laughs> <laughs> squirrel. So um, whatever, it whatever, says whatever. that um, if you're a night owl, it actually increases your chance of um, early death. Based on 38 people. Wait, how do they figure that one out? <laughs> no. Isn't that something to do with the circadian, circadian That's rhythm? That's not based on the 38 people. That's just a growing oh, okay, body good. of research. I was just going to say, did one of those guys hark it in the thing? <laughs> 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 they but started with 38 and they finished with 37. Apparently, if you're a night owl, you have a misalignment between your internal clock or the circadian rhythm and, yeah. and obviously what the rest of the That's world typically true. tends to do. That's got to be true. Yes. But I just thought it was interesting. I thought it was interesting. Do you understand how the, the clock works, like your internal clock? Mm, a little bit, but mm, enlighten us more. I might, I'm might. i going to butcher the names of the chemicals and stuff. Okay. I actually can't remember what they are. But essentially, your body, your body responds to um, temperature and light are the main two things which triggered your body to go yeah. into different modes. So in the evening when it gets dark and when it gets cold... Your body recognizes that and then says, okay, you should probably be asleep within the next... And this is where it changes for different people. Some people, it can trigger and take half an hour. So they release a chemical which says to their body, like, start to wind down and get sleepy and fall asleep. Mm. Um, so that might take half an hour. But for somebody else, it takes two hours, right? Yeah. yeah. So for the people where it takes half an hour, they will tend to go to bed a bit earlier than the others, which means they wake up a bit earlier. And it's the same, it's the same in reverse. So when they start to wake up, as it starts to get warmer... And as it starts to get lighter, your body says, oh, lights come in. You know, let's trigger ourselves to wake up so we're ready. And it essentially dates back to when, you know, when we're out in the wild, all the other animals wake up. So you better wake up or else you're going to die. You better you know? wake up. And then up. it's gonna it's getting dark. So you better go find a safe place to hide or else you're going to die kind of thing. So, yeah. So when our day, the nine to five day is structured around the people that tend to wake up half with an hour light. earlier. Like they only take half an hour to kick in. And they can right. wake up and get on with their day. But then the other people, and teenagers actually, teenagers seem to always have a more delayed yes. reaction. So it takes them a couple of hours, which is why you find teenagers between the age of like 14 and 18 are often really tired because they're constantly battling against their, oh, block, their body's body. They're having to just block. do the old the old grown-ups way where their body just wants to just leave me yeah. alone and as you get older it, it seems to be that it shifts so your body gets better at just like reacting okay it's time to wake up now it's time to go to sleep now why that's the case i don't understand but that just seems to be the way it is so the older you get the Actually, easier I it is to that. wake up I earlier and the more likely you are to want to fall asleep earlier do you how many hours of sleep do you guys need to to feel just like yeah i'm good like I've, i don't feel tired when i wake up it depends how I wake up. If I wake up with a purpose or not. What do you mean? So, so if I if I have um, six hours sleep, but I wake up and I'm like, oh, I got to do stuff today, then I'm like, I'm ready to go. I'm full of energy. But if I wake up and I got nothing to do, I'm like, I'm really tired. You have the most bizarre <laughs> body clock ever. Like sometimes I'll wake up and it's four thirty, and you're up and you've been up, and you're like just up, and I'm like, what is he doing? Like, why is he awake so early? But then you'll wake early get, or late. That, that he wakes point. up. Dev wakes up super early, but then sometimes he'll just wake up randomly in the night, and then he just stays up because he can't go back to sleep. Yeah, man. But yeah. then you get super tired in the afternoon, though. Yeah, because I woke up pretty early. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> but like, do you reckon six hours, eight hours, less? Probably six. I need eight ish. I need eight. Yeah, six, six to eight. Yeah. Six to eight. Mm, yeah 68 68 <laughs> but it's bizarre how kids usually sleep about 12 hours 10 to 12 because they're still growing yeah i know yeah like they got a lot of their body's got a lot to double. do at night mm. imagine knowing right i'm gonna close my eyes now for bed i'll see you in 12 hours that's a long time yeah that's a long time 
And they usually stay asleep. Like they're just like fully sleeping. <laughs> One minute warning. Um, you know when you're that tired though, where you wish you could just have a 12 hour sleep? Oh, yeah. I wake the up best that time of the time. day is literally getting into bed and just like, oh. I'm just so tired. Like, I just need to sleep. This is the best. Would you would you rather a world where like or work where you just like you start working and when you feel tired you just sleep and yes. then you just wake up and continue working? Yes. Until you f- do your eight hours. Yep. That's what I did. I and it, that was the most productive I've ever been. Yes, because you got to listen to your own body. God, I'll be sleep so much. <laughs> but it takes you, <laughs> you out of sync with yeah. the rest of the world, which is the problem. My one was on my mind is there was there was like an old woman that I helped. It was only three steps, but she was really fragile. And I I helped her up to the three steps. And then I felt so good about myself the whole day. And I was like, did I do that for her or for me to feel good about myself? And then I felt guilty for feeling good about (laughs) her. (laughs) I think we have to get over that. I think we have to get over. I think we do because your initial, your initial thought reaction was I got to help her, not oh, I have to help her because babe. it's going to make me feel like your initial thing was I got to help her. And then the after uh, the resultant endorphins. emotions just yeah. were secondary. And maybe helping her release endorphins into your brain, yeah. which said that you've done something good and you made you in a good mood. Yeah. I was, I was just like, I hope everyone saw what I did there. <laughs> I was looking around, <laughs> chest out. Just the same way like... that you do when you help people put their laptop bags in the overheads. Yeah, that one as well. <laughs> that one's a bit different because that's like I outsmarted them. I didn't think I outsmarted this old woman. I was like, look, you just use your legs like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, old people. Oh, I like them. Would you do that if you were in a rush? Yes. I help an old person. Yeah. yeah I'm a. Uh, yeah, I, I think I would. I. I've. Uh, I guess over the last couple of years, mainly, I've learned that. I'm never in a rush. <laughs> yeah. I think there's I some I don't ever things... let myself feel in a rush anymore. Like, very much so. Like, if it, I rush through, like, minor tasks, but anything like that, I think there's, it's rare I have something more important Okay. than, Helping. you know, feeling life. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Helping people, doing, like... Feeling I would life. walk... I like for that. example, I was, if it takes me an extra five minutes to walk into work, I'd much rather walk than have to jump on a tram, which is full of people. Yeah. And I'd just be in it even five minutes even later, you know? See, see, just coming off that, right? And I, it might, it, this is a bit of a leap. I, right, recently have learned that I don't know what I want to do, right? But I know, oh, look, sorry, I don't know who I want to be, but I know who I don't want to be. Yeah. I think I've we said this before. On that, yeah. Right? And like, it's funny, the more you do, like, the stuff you know, the stuff you know you don't want to be, it starts putting you on track of the person you want to be. Mm. You start taking all the stuff. Does that make sense? Yeah. And um, the like this week, I was like, I really want to be the most patient person in like, I really want to be a patient person, right? And that is freaking hard because in your mind, you're like, shit, I'm a very impatient person. <laughs> I am a very, very impatient person. It's like, um, like someone was talking to me and like, and I was like, I was losing patience. I was like, no, nah, no, I want to like, let me just see this guy out. <laughs> or like I was stuck in traffic and I was like, I'm, I am an impatient person. I can't <laughs> believe how impatient I am. Yeah. This is freaking ridiculous. I set this goal to be the most patient person in the world and I'm not. I'm impatient in everything. <laughs> my food wasn't coming out on time. I was like, where's my food? <laughs> what the hell? This is, it's very hard to be a patient person. It's very hard. <laughs> the other night you're like, what are we having for dinner? And then you ask like ten minutes. So, what did you know we're having for dinner? <laughs> and they're like, well, um, where, when are we having dinner? <laughs> and you having? already told me, didn't you? Yeah, I was like, I told you like twice already. Yeah. And I was like, is that impatient or being hungry? Are they the same? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but it sounds. But that's like, but one of, but it one sounds of the tips from since you've wanted to become an imp- impatient person, Emma's had to become more patient. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've put my goals on Emma. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that's funny. Um, one, one of the uh, like advices you get, uh, I got as one of my mentors was, 
um, to like become better at work, like become more productive. Don't list the things you should be doing every day. You should list the things you shouldn't be doing every day. Oh. So uh, like, because what happens is when you go into like, uh, you know, when you just sort of go in automatic mode and you can't be bothered to like really, you passively go for your day, you end up falling onto stupid tasks. Like you just check your emails too much or you create random documents, which aren't really that necessary. <laughs> so we said, just list down all the things you shouldn't be doing, yeah. which you always fall back to do. And then every time you go to do them, you're like, oh no, I can't do that. And you're like, oh, what should I do instead? And then you come up with something productive to do. Oh. That's so I mean? true though. Exactly what you're saying. I always just go, oh, I'll just check the emails. Oh, I'll just create this, uh, this folder of all <laughs> these past archived emails that I'm sure are important. <laughs> <laughs> like just find any and everything to do other than the the actual task itself. <sighs> Good tip. Yeah, nice. Good that advice. is a great tip. Anything on your mind? Actually, mine will be the next article, I think. Okay, I love this. I love this, love this. It's not really an article, but <sighs> there's a show. I should have my own segment called Emma's TV or something like that. But there's a show on Stan at the moment. I don't know if Stan's worldwide, but anyway. We do, we it's like it's Netflix. Like Netflix it's but like it's Netflix. called Stan. And it's called, this show is called Something, 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 60 Days In. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Is that actually the name? Uh, no, or it's not. You, it's got some recall. blurb before it, but the main bit's sixty days in. Hey Maxi, I went um I went to the park yesterday. Something, something, something. Yeah. Great day. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just nice. see. Let me just see what it's actually called. Um Yada Yada Yada. It's called Oh no, it's called Sixty Days In. I was correct. Okay. It's called Sixty Days In. And what it is is oh, there's two right. seasons. But oh, I've, I've only watched it. the first season. I'm about to watch the second season. It's great. They get volunteers who are not criminals. To become snitches. Well, and they put them in prison for two months. 60 right. days. 60 days. Okay. So they'll choose people from different backgrounds. So like in season one, they had, um, they had police. Ali. Muhammad Ali's daughter. They had Muhammad Ali's daughter. She they had a there. police officer. They had a stay-at-home mom, um, a teacher, like just pick people from different backgrounds. They give them training. Like this is what you're going to experience. This is what, you know, print, uh, the inmates are going to be looking at you, sort of like uh, looking at you like this is how they're going to interact with you. Do this, don't do this, etc. And then they basically release a real them. prison? Real yes. prison. It's a prison in um, Clark County, Indiana. Okay. And do they use the same prison for everyone? I don't yeah. know. Yes. Oh, uh, the two seasons, yes. And oh. I think they did it like literally straight after, one after the end. So other. what you're say, saying is a guy could have been on the outside, seen this show, then gone into the prison. Yeah, it's dangerous, yeah. eh? And then he can be like, hey, there's a, sh there's a show no, on. No, when I say Would that... Would they let guys into the prison that are snitches? No, so it's lit I think they so ran it cool. literally straight one after the other because only f four officers in the entire prison knew that it was happening. So they had a film crew... And they just pretended that the film crew were there um, just uh, like to do a doco on first time inmates. So the pres the film crew were there day in, day out. Um, the sheriff knew about it, the second in charge, I guess, and a couple other um, corrections officers. But no other corrections officers knew about them. No inmates knew about them. And they just had to go in. They were told a story, which was their backstory, um, and Muhammad Ali's daughter was given another name. Um, but was it, it was... Was it Cassius Clay? <laughs> so interesting. <laughs> no. <laughs> so wait, what? what? The, the, their job was to snitch on people. So this... Pr yeah, pretty yeah, much. There was the, the prison was what? like... Did they it, get stitches? It's no. No, it was known One nearly for did. drugs. Um, people were wanting to get into prison because it was, they could get drugs cheaper inside than they could outside. Mm. Um, there were certain pods within the prison that were extremely violent, dangerous, and they just wanted to get more <coughs> information on how the prisoners get in drugs in, what's going on, basically. Um, Out of all mm. the reality TV shows that Emma watches, th I'm fractionally interested in this one. <laughs> Just because, because she wa she watches a lot of reality TV. 
and and this one I was like, what's this all about? And it's quite like I you, trying to put yourself in that position, going voluntarily into prison to be an inmate. I'm freaking out. Yeah, it was so I'm interesting. Freaking out. The girls section, the F pod, there was no violence. I mean, they had daily arguments, daily, daily. And there was like, oh, yeah, come on, I'll get you. Blah, blah, blah. But nothing actually happened. Whereas the boys was like violent. They were there vi- was yeah. like, bi- uh, one of the volunteers got punched in the face. What would happen if one of the volunteers had to kill someone to survive? So they told them, if That's you fine. engage in any criminal activity, you will be charged. No, no, no. But self-defense, what? they said you can you they, self-defense. They said if someone, in, if, if it is actually self-defense and they've got cameras everywhere, like if we can see it's self-defense, mm-hmm. then um, it's that's fine. okay. But they might still be charged to a degree. It depends what happens. Like if they killed them, they're going to get manslaughter. But like if, they, if, you, if you partake in any drug taking or any, you know, violent behavior up front or whatever, you, you could be charged. But wouldn't you have to partake in that to actually get into the groups that you want to get the information It's on? interesting because one of the guys did. He actually, um, they he, he felt the peer pressure too in the cells. They don't have cameras really inside the cells, but the film crew was sort of filming from outside. So you could hear what they were saying. And they were like, oh, they were smoking this crack pipe, cr- not a crack pipe, a crack pot or something. And it's, it's the same, isn't it? It's like an, it's a e-cigarette filter and then wrapped in coffee-soaked paper, and it gives them like a minor high, whatever. It's but it's contraband. And he did that because they were like, "Go on, you know, blah blah, blah do it, do it, do it." And I guess he felt under pressure. And then he was like, "Oh my god, why do I do that?" Blah blah. blah. Uh, but the sheriff never found out about that. Not at the time, anyway. Hold on, but that have f- okay. <laughs> and then they got footage there. Yeah, okay. I got footage of you doing it. <laughs> but just the <laughs> stuff that happens is unreal. Like. Prison is insane. Would you do it, Maxi? Crack? No. <laughs> Go into prison. Why not? Go into prison. Oh, oh. Uh, no, no, not at the moment. He hasn't got pants on. Voluntarily. <laughs> I, I, I mean. By the way, viewers. No, I think. Maxi I think wears so. no pants during the show. <laughs> but not because I'm like, I don't know. Not. I just don't. There's no. I don't have enough to gain from that experience, I don't think. Yeah, what, wearing pants? Some of them, they were going in for personal reasons. Like one of them wanted to be a uh, a police officer, like wanted to. <laughs> so this security guard, literally like the movie with the security guard who's useless. I forgot what it's called. Paul, Paul Mart. Paul, Paul, Paul Mart. What is it called? Paul Blatt. Paul Blatt. Paul Blatt, the security guard. Security mall. Security mall. Mall, mall, mall guy. Mall. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. Okay. Yeah. It mall was cop. literally <laughs> like that. So he was a security guard and, you know, a little look, overweight. Little did, did he look like Paul? Yeah, yes. he did. Yep, 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 yeah. yep, yep. But he wanted to be a corrections officer. So he was like, I'll do this. And then on my CV, I can put, you know, uh, it will give me, a, a you know, a, a step up in my resumes and all this and that. Um, and he was the one that got punched in the face and it, he didn't last long. Of course, he would look he like a snitch. <laughs> no. A bitch. They started then, taking. They started taking his lunch. Oh yeah. He started giving it away. Yeah. He was like, "Oh, you want my tray?" Oh god, and no. <laughs> like oh, it was crazy. Can they? Can they opt out of this? Yes, they can, and he did. Um, a few of them didn't last the the whole distance. Yeah, but the thing is, because it's all undercover and the corrections officers don't know it's happening, they have. If they opt out, they don't just get to go straight away. They have to like make it look legit. Yeah. Um. There was one guy that spent four nights in the actual, you know, pods and the rest of the time in segregation. You reckon you handle this? He was a bit loopy. 60 days? In prison? Yeah. Um, I wouldn't give him all my food. No. <laughs> no, I know you wouldn't give you. You reckon? The men are so violent over anything. Oh, I wouldn't want to test it out personally. No? Nah. No. Nah. I reckon it'd be mentally, for me, it'd be mentally straining. No, no matter for who you being inside of some environment like that where you have to be constantly paying attention to what you're doing. And they're overcrowded. Mentally straining. Yeah. High, high. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's one of those high pressure situations where... And it's, there's no give up, eh? You have to be on yeah, all the all time. time. They've even gone to like, the loo. Well, that, yeah. that was one of the problems because it's overcrowded. Loads of the bunk beds were actually out in the common area where the lights never turn off either. But um, there was no toilets. Like They had to ask the, the people in the bunk rooms, can I use your toilet? Like just for 
There was and one. They go- would be like, no, there was one guy in there that can't. pretended that he, he was like, um, it was a holiday. It was like, oh, this is easy. I'll do this. It was the teacher. Yeah, he thought he was, it was he was crazy. He thought it was like, oh yeah, uh, this is a break from all, uh, my normal life. I could do this forever and stuff. And I'm like, man, no way. Like, I like if I spend but, two days in in the house, I'm like, I got cabin fever. No, yeah. plus I'm, I'm getting out of here. How? Like, what level was this prison at? This was a bad prison. And also, it's he, count- he was... a county pr- jail, isn't it? If it was a bad it prison, a- uh, to be honest with you, I would assume one of them got raped. They, they were about to. So they were... You could hear the inmates on, on camera saying, let's basically rape him. Um, and the he was fearing guy. for him, him. No, the, the, the loopy one. And he was fearing for his, like, he could sense something was going to happen. Mm. So he did something stupid and covered the cameras with the towels, which you're not allowed to do. And that's what got him into segregation. And then he spent four weeks in segregation because that's the normal punishment for anyone that tampers mm. with the cameras. And he was like, oh, I absolutely love it in here. It's a meditation retreat, blah, blah, blah. And then <laughs> when they told him, right, you've done your 30 days, it's gonna, you're going to go back to general population. He was like, who was basically crapping himself mm. and then faked like <laughs> severe constipation was rolling around in pain on the floor and said, I have to go to hospital and like just at the right timing. And he left the program, but he said, I wasn't scared. I wanted to go back in there just for my health reasons that stopped me from doing it. <laughs> yeah. yeah <no>. but, <laughs> but it was full on. It's a really good watch if anyone wants to watch it. All right, everyone, thanks for watching this week's episode of the B-Side Word. Make sure if you enjoyed it to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe and drop us your thoughts in the comments down below. Hit the bell, hit the bell. Hit the bell, hit the bell. bell.